With regard to the parvo vaccine, because the parvovirus is so easily neutralized by those maternally derived antibodies, even low antibody titers passed on can interfere for several weeks, and high titers can interfere actually for several months. And so that's what makes it so difficult to get the animal immunized. Now, if we know what the puppy's titer is, which we can determine either by getting a blood sample from the puppy, or we can actually determine even before the puppies are born by getting a blood sample from the mother, we would know what to expect in terms of that titer. But of course, very few dogs are tested. And so we set up a program where we hope that we will immunize early enough in puppies that have low antibody titers. And we hope that we'll immunize late enough in puppies that have very high antibody titers. So we recommend starting the vaccination program at about six to eight weeks of age. And the reason that there would be multiple doses of vaccine given is we don't know exactly when the antibody will no longer interfere. We hope that it's protective until six weeks, so we give the vaccine at six weeks. But if it's still high, that vaccination at six weeks will not immunize. And then the next one we would like to give about three to four weeks later at nine to 10 weeks of age. And then depending on how high the antibody was, that may immunize and it may not. So the last dose that we recommend in the AHA guidelines is 14 to 16 weeks of age. And through research that we've done in my lab, we would estimate that about 98% of all litters, and most puppies within a litter have similar, if not the same, maternally derived antibody titer. They're rarely different. Uh, among the litters. Occasionally there are, you may have a weak puppy that really doesn't suckle during the first couple of days. That puppy's going to probably not even be protected out to six weeks because it would not get enough antibody. And that antibody is absorbed through special cells of the intestinal tract. And once the puppy starts eating something, those cells close down and they no longer will transport that antibody from the intestinal tract into the systemic circulation. So that's a problem when you have a sick puppy that you don't get any antibody. But let's say that we did get antibody. It's pretty similar among the puppies. If we know what that antibody titer is for parvo, we can tell exactly when the parvo can immunize. But because most often that's not done, we do those three vaccinations or maybe even four if we're concerned with animals in high risk situations. Like in shelters, we do recommend actually going out all the way to 18 to 20 weeks with the last dose to ensure that you've got immunization not only against parvo, but of course against distemper and adeno as well.